Too often we let the wrong people into our lives without realizing the damage they can do. They come disguised as friends, colleagues, or even loved ones, but their behaviors chip away at our confidence, peace of mind, and emotional stability. Whether it's the manipulative charmer, the constant critic, or the toxic individual who thrives on drama, these personalities can wreak havoc if left unchecked. In this video, we're diving deep into identifying and understanding the traits of these individuals, the inattentive listener, the empathy-lacking person, and more. Each one leaves a distinct mark on our lives, often without us even realizing the full extent of their impact until it's too late. If you've ever felt drained, dismissed or undermined by someone close to you, this is the guide you need. By the end, you'll not only recognize these behaviors, but also learn how to guard your boundaries and reclaim your well-being. Let's uncover the truth behind these harmful patterns and take the first step toward healthier, more fulfilling relationships. Number 1. The Manipulative Individual Imagine this, you're at a family gathering, catching up with relatives, sharing laughs and stories. It's a warm, joyful moment. Then there's that one person, the cousin perhaps, who makes a subtle comment that leaves you questioning yourself. They didn't outright insult you, but their words leave a strange weight in the air. You laugh it off, but deep down, you feel manipulated. Sound familiar? Manipulative individuals are experts at cloaking their true intentions. They don't approach you with direct demands instead. They nudge, hint, and twist situations to benefit themselves. Whether it's a co-worker convincing you to cover their shift again, or a friend guilting you into cancelling your plans for theirs, manipulators rely on subtlety and psychological pressure. At first, they seem like they're simply asking for a favor or offering a harmless suggestion, but over time, you notice a pattern. You're always compromising, always bending, always giving up a piece of yourself. Think back to your younger years. Maybe it was a schoolmate who convinced you to share your homework answers, promising they'd return the favor. Did they ever? Or perhaps it was that first boss who overpraised you, making you believe you were indispensable, only to pile on more responsibilities without extra pay. Nostalgia reminds us how often manipulation shows up in everyday life and how easily it can go unnoticed. Now ask yourself this, how do these people identify who to target? Manipulators often prey on empathetic individuals, people who value harmony and are eager to avoid conflict. They know exactly how to push emotional buttons by playing the victim, offering flattery or threatening withdrawal they pull you into their web. It's a dance where they always lead, and you follow, unaware of how much power you've surrendered. What's their end game? And more importantly, how do you break free from their control? Number two, the constant critic. Picture this. You're excited about a new project. You've poured hours of work into it, fine-tuned every detail, and finally, you present it to someone you trust. Instead of encouragement or constructive feedback, you get an avalanche of criticism. This could have been better. Why didn't you think of this? Or worse, are you sure this is even good enough? That initial spark of pride you felt, gone. It's like a balloon deflated with a single pinprick. The constant critic thrives on finding flaws, often masking their negativity as helpful advice or just being honest. While constructive feedback aims to guide and improve, their comments are designed to undermine and belittle. They're the ones who nitpick your efforts, pointing out the smallest mistakes while ignoring the broader picture of your success. These individuals may not even realize the extent of the harm they cause. To them, it's normal to highlight imperfections, but for the recipient, their words can feel like a relentless tide eroding self-confidence. Do you remember a teacher, friend, 
or even a parent whose voice echoes in your mind during moments of self-doubt. The one who always seemed to focus on what went wrong rather than what went right. Nostalgia often brings us back to those defining moments when someone's harsh words stuck with us, shaping how we view ourselves and our abilities. That paper you were proud of could have been better. That performance you gave your all to, why didn't you try harder? These memories stay with us long after the critic has moved on. But why do these critics behave this way? Sometimes it stems from their insecurities. By pointing out others' flaws, they divert attention from their own. Other times, it's about control. Keeping others in a constant state of self-doubt ensures they remain dependent or subdued. The question that lingers is this. How do you silence their voice in your head and reclaim your sense of self-worth? Number three, the superficially friendly. Imagine meeting someone new their energy is magnetic, their smile infectious, and their charm undeniable. They make you feel like the most interesting person in the room, hanging on to your every word, nodding in agreement, and showering you with compliments. It feels fantastic. Who wouldn't want to be around someone so warm and engaging? But over time, you notice a pattern. Their friendliness is surface deep vanishing the moment they no longer need something from you. Superficially friendly individuals are masters of first impressions. They know how to light up a room, make everyone feel seen and appreciated, and create instant rapport. But their relationships often lack depth. They rarely stick around when challenges arise or when there's no immediate benefit for them. You'll find them at parties, always in the spotlight, making connections that seem genuine but fizzle out quickly. It's not that they're intentionally malicious, they're simply focused on their own goals, often to the exclusion of forming meaningful bonds. Think back to a friendship or acquaintance from your past. Maybe it was a colleague who seemed like your work bestie, always chatting during lunch or teaming up for projects. But when you left that job, their calls and texts stopped. Or perhaps it was a friend who was only around during good times, but disappeared when life got tough. Nostalgia reminds us of these fleeting connections and the bittersweet realization that some relationships aren't as solid as they seemed. So, why do people adopt this superficial friendliness? Often, it's a defense mechanism. By keeping relationships at a shallow level, they avoid vulnerability and the risk of being hurt. Other times, it's about networking and self-promotion, being liked by many, even if none of the connections are deeply rooted. But it leaves you wondering, how do you recognize when someone's charm is authentic versus when it's a facade? And how do you protect yourself from getting too invested in a one-sided relationship? Number four, the inattentive listener. Picture this. You're pouring your heart out to someone about a rough day, a cherished memory, or even an exciting idea you've been working on. As you speak, you notice their gaze drifting to their phone, a nearby window, or the people passing by. They nod occasionally, offer a vague, uh-huh, but it's clear they aren't truly present. The connection you hoped to foster feels hollow, and you're left questioning why you even bothered sharing in the first place. The inattentive listener is a familiar figure in many of our lives. They're not overtly unkind, in fact. They may even appear supportive in certain moments. But their attention is fleeting. In an era dominated by distractions, notifications pinging, endless to-do lists, and the constant pull of digital life, genuine, focused listening has become a rare gift. For the inattentive listener, your words often seem like background noise to their inner monologue or external distractions. Think back to your childhood or teenage years. Was there a moment when you eagerly shared an achievement or a story with a parent, teacher or friend, only to feel brushed aside? Maybe they were too busy, or perhaps they simply didn't see the significance of what you were saying. Those moments stick with us forming a bittersweet nostalgia 
for times when we craved undivided attention and connection. The inattentive listener's behavior isn't always intentional. Sometimes it stems from stress, preoccupation, or their own struggles with communication. However, the impact is profound. Being unheard can make you feel invisible, unimportant, or undervalued. Over time, you might hesitate to open up, fearing that your voice doesn't matter. But what about them? What lies beneath their inability to focus on the words being spoken? Are they overwhelmed, distracted, or simply unaware of the emotional void they're creating? And how can you foster meaningful conversations in a world so full of noise? Number five, the empathy lacking individual. Close your eyes and imagine a moment when you were deeply hurt or overwhelmed. Now, picture sharing that moment with someone who responds with a shrug, a dismissive comment, or even laughter. The sting of their reaction is unmistakable. Rather than feeling supported, you're left isolated, your emotions invalidated. Empathy lacking individuals struggle or outright fail to connect with the feelings of others. Their responses often seem robotic, self-centered, or entirely detached from the emotional weight of what's being shared. While they may not intend to cause harm, their inability to empathize can make interactions with them feel cold and transactional. Think about times when you faced significant challenges, grief over a loss, frustration from failure, or even the joy of a major achievement. Was there someone in your life who consistently missed the mark, reacting in ways that felt tone-deaf or indifferent? Nostalgia often brings back memories of these interactions, moments where we needed compassion and understanding, but were met with apathy. The absence of empathy doesn't always stem from malice. It might arise from their upbringing, past traumas, or even neurological factors that make emotional connection difficult. However, the result is the same relationships with such individuals can feel draining and one-sided. You might find yourself questioning why you continue seeking validation or comfort from someone incapable of providing it. But how do you navigate a relationship with an empathy-lacking individual? Can they learn to connect on a deeper level? Or is it up to you to adjust your expectations? And how do you protect your emotional well-being while still engaging with them? Number six, the constant irritator. Now picture a sunny day ruined by a mosquito buzzing in your ear. The irritation grows as the sound persists, impossible to ignore. That's what dealing with a constant irritator feels like. Small, seemingly harmless actions that pile up until they become unbearable. The constant irritator isn't always malicious. They might be the friend who interrupts every story, the co-worker who hums loudly in the office, or the relative who insists on sharing unsolicited advice. These individuals often have no idea how their behavior grates on others. To them, their quirks are harmless, even endearing. But for those on the receiving end, it's a relentless test of patience. Think back to moments in your life when you've had to deal with someone like this. Perhaps it was a sibling who borrowed your things without asking, a roommate with loud habits, or a colleague who talked over everyone during meetings. Nostalgia often brings these memories back with a mix of frustration and humor. We survived those moments, but they left their mark. What drives these individuals to behave this way? Sometimes it's a lack of self-awareness. Other times it's a way to assert dominance or gain attention. Regardless of the reason, their actions constrain relationships, pushing people away rather than drawing them closer. So, how do you set boundaries with a constant irritator? Can you address their behavior without causing conflict? Or is it better to learn strategies for maintaining your composure? And how do you balance patience with self-respect when dealing with someone who tests your limits daily? Number seven, the eternal victim. Imagine a friend who always seems to be caught in a storm of misfortune. No matter what happens, they're the one who's wronged, the one who suffers, the one who deserves sympathy. At first, you empathize with their struggles, 
offering support and encouragement. But over time, you notice a pattern. Their problems never seem to resolve, and their role as the victim never changes. The eternal victim thrives on pity and attention. They narrate their hardships with a dramatic flair, ensuring their audience feels sorry for them. However, their focus is rarely on finding solutions or taking accountability. Instead, they lean on others to validate their narrative, often ignoring or dismissing advice that could lead to growth. Think back to times when you've interacted with someone like this. Perhaps it was a friend who constantly complained about their toxic relationships, but never considered their role in the dynamic. Or maybe it was a family member who blamed everyone else for their financial struggles while refusing to change their spending habits. Nostalgia reminds us of these interactions and the emotional toll they take. Supporting someone who refuses to help themselves can be exhausting. But why do people adopt this victim mentality? Sometimes it's a defense mechanism, a way to avoid facing their own shortcomings. Other times, it's a learned behavior, rooted in past experiences where victimhood brought comfort or attention. Whatever the reason, their perspective can make it difficult to build a balanced, reciprocal relationship. The question remains, how do you support someone like this without enabling their behavior? Can you help them see beyond their victim narrative? Or is it better to protect your own emotional boundaries and step back? Number 8. The Two-Faced Individual Picture this. You're talking to someone who seems warm, trustworthy and genuine. They agree with you, laugh at your jokes and offer kind words. But later, you hear they've spoken ill of you to others, twisting your words or revealing your secrets. The betrayal stings, leaving you wondering how you misjudged them so completely. Two-faced individuals are experts at deception. They wear different masks for different people, saying what each person wants to hear while hiding their true intentions. Their goal is often self-serving, whether it's climbing the social ladder, avoiding conflict, or gaining an advantage. While their duplicity may not always be harmful, it erodes trust and creates a sense of unease in those around them. Think about moments when you've encountered someone like this. Perhaps it was a friend who acted supportive but secretly envied your success, or a colleague who pretended to collaborate while undermining you behind the scenes. Nostalgia often brings back memories of these betrayals, reminding us of the lessons we've learned about trust and discernment. Why do people become two-faced? Sometimes it's fear of rejection, conflict, or being exposed for who they truly are. Other times it's ambition, a willingness to sacrifice authenticity for personal gain. Whatever the reason, their actions create a toxic environment where relationships are built on shifting sands rather than solid ground. How can you identify and protect yourself from two-faced individuals? Is it possible to confront them and build a more honest relationship? Or is it better to distance yourself entirely? And how do you recover from the emotional damage caused by their betrayal? Number 9. The Toxic Individual Imagine a relationship that feels like walking on eggshells. Every interaction leaves you drained, every conversation filled with tension or negativity. Toxic individuals have a unique way of turning every encounter into a battleground, whether through manipulation, criticism or outright hostility. They thrive on control and chaos, leaving those around them feeling powerless and emotionally exhausted. The toxic individual isn't always obvious at first. They might come across as charming, passionate or even caring, but over time, their true nature emerges. They dominate conversations, dismiss your feelings and create an environment where their needs and desires always take precedence. Whether it's a partner, friend, or family member, their behavior can infiltrate every aspect of your life, affecting your self-esteem, mental health, and overall happiness. Think back to times when you've dealt with someone like this. 
Perhaps it was a boss who constantly belittled your work, a friend who always made you feel guilty for not meeting their expectations, or a partner who controlled every aspect of your relationship. Nostalgia reminds us of the pain and confusion these relationships bring, but also the strength we gain when we finally break free. What drives toxic behavior? Sometimes it's rooted in insecurity, past trauma, or a desperate need for validation. Other times, it's a deliberate choice, a way to assert dominance or control. Regardless of the cause, their actions have a profound impact on those around them, creating a cycle of hurt and manipulation that's difficult to escape. The question is, how do you recognize and address toxicity in your relationships? Can toxic individuals change, or is it better to cut ties and prioritize your own well-being? And how do you rebuild your sense of self after enduring the emotional turmoil they create? We've just uncovered some of the most harmful personalities that can quietly wreak havoc on your mental and emotional well-being. Recognizing these traits is your first step toward protecting your peace, setting boundaries, and living a life free from unnecessary negativity. Remember, you have the power to choose who gets access to your energy and influence your path to happiness and success. Drop a hundred in the comments if you've made it this far. This shows you're part of the elite few who finish what they start. If you're truly committed to transforming your life and building healthier relationships, hit that subscribe button and join our community. Together, we'll continue exploring strategies to create a life of clarity, strength and purpose.